You've warned about Europeans taking British jobs. Your wife is German. She's yes. your secretary. Yes. She's paid for by the British taxpayer. Do you remember this? A bit of a fluff piece, really, from Nick Robinson 10 years ago, drawing out the hypocrisy of Farage demonising Europeans for taking British jobs when he'd gone and given the role of his secretary to his German wife. As with all things Farage, though, you only have to dig a little bit deeper for it to get worse. Here's Nigel being asked a question on this issue on the rare occasion when he actually turned up to the European Parliament. Thank you, uh, Mr President. Uh, Mr Farage, with unemployment still a problem across Europe and indeed the UK, does, does Mr Farage think it's a fair use of taxpayers' money, namely his secretarial allowance, not only to employ his wife Kirsten, but his former mistress Annabel Fuller? Is this a responsible use of taxpayers' money, Mr Farage? I don't see any need to answer that at all. Okay. Thank you. That then led to this line of questioning when Farage went on, have I got news for you? Maria Miller's resignation attracted the usual bunch of renter quotes. Uh, what we've seen is a Prime Minister who clearly is totally disconnected with how the voters in Britain feel about MPs' expenses. That was Nigel Farage. Uh, the same Nigel Farage who in 2009 revealed that as an MEP he'd claimed in expenses um, £2 million. Pounds. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. And who was it? Who was it? Listen to this evasive deflection from Farage as he doesn't deny the £2 million expenses but seeks to imply that somebody is out to bring him down by telling lies. It brought up the issue of, of £2 million and me and you. taxpayers' money, Dennis McShane. Yeah, he's in jail, but you're not. <laughs> yes, I had noticed that. Good. Um... <laughs> Yes, well, as a tax-funded MEP, Nigel Farage is an equal opportunities employer. Some of our money has gone to his wife and some to his mistress. Um, or have well, I, got I think that, that is allegedly, don't you? I think that is allegedly. Um, we can set the record straight right yeah, now. Yeah, I think it is. I think you ought to say allegedly, quite honestly. Click here for the video Nigel doesn't want you to see.